Wait a minute, there's something inside here. Is this real Louis Vuitton? There's no way. There's actually no way. <gasps> Guys, look at the sold comps. I paid seven cents for this. Oh my gosh. I just got excited about Ben's stores again. All right. <laughs> I got up early, got ready. I'm at the bin store before they opened because today is $10 fill a bag day. Did they sell everything? Because nobody is here. At least I'm not late, but I think maybe they don't open until 11 throughout the week. Saturday's nine. I don't know. I, my eyesight's not that great. What does that say? Let me check their website. Okay, let's zoom in on the store hours here. Ah, uh, Wednesday is 11 a.m. Guys, I have two hours until they open. Okay, well, I'm not late. There's that. You wanna go to the thrift store real quick? Maybe I should spend $10 at the thrift store and $10 here and see which one I get better stuff at. I don't know. No, I was in a rush too. We're not gonna spend too long in the thrift store here because I really want the focus of today's video to be how much stuff I can find at the bins for 10 bucks. But I just thought I'd give you guys a look around. Who doesn't want to look at the toy section in the thrift store? Um, I found this amazing vanity mirror that plugs in and I've never, ever, ever in my whole life seen one with the case. This thing is amazing. It's only $4 and then I get it out and see it's broke. Womp, womp, womp. So of course I did not get it. I was tempted to get it just for that hot pink case. Like you saw that, right? This bumper sticker. If anyone ever sees this bumper sticker, it looked like it was from, I think it's in 1971 or something, 1976. It was so cool and I really love it. More hot pink caught my eye. This is a vintage baby lock serger for only $30. I guarantee you there's money to be made there. I just wasn't into it today. I have some large electronic stuff at home that I still haven't listed. I have no business bringing that home. Uh, Gucci? This is this is not Gucci. Boston Traders or something. Get out of here. I'm never going to find like, okay, I will one day find Gucci and Hermes ties. Then I found these amazing ginger jars and I think they're spectacular. They want $8 a piece, but come on. Like, doesn't that look maybe hand painted to you? I left here. I went straight to the bins where I stood in line for a little while. It was like 30 minutes waiting in line, made small talk and made a new friend in the line. So all was well when all of a sudden this cop car pulls up. The officer goes inside and then an employee of the bins comes outside and starts telling us how they might not open right at 11 o'clock. I basically, there's a problem with their licensing. Like, um, we'll keep you posted. We're trying, we're just trying to get open as soon as we can. So, so just bear with us. <laughs> We're going to start out with me putting all of these bad aim games back because they look like kids games. But my friend Jen is here telling me that they are absolutely filthy. To top it off, they gave these away to people with kids because they thought also that they were toys. And so on opening day, everyone with kids was leaving with these and they are filthy. So I put every single one of them back. Hey, I found the clacker from the other day on that uh Clacker and I, oh, the piece was broken off. I found it today. But basically, this is what the bins look like. There are only two rows that are full right now. And by full, this is what I mean. And there's just like random pieces. If you need a mask, today is the day. Look, the knockoff Supreme stickers are still here. Um, all of those are empty and just these two rows have stuff in there. But look, like this is what they look like. Do you think I'm going to get anything of any value? I have to fill up my entire IKEA bag and this is what most of the bins look like. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. There's got to be some value in here. And I feel like it's probably overlooked value. I have been here for an hour and look, your girl found a way. A little bit of drama at the bins. You guys, this officer just pulled up and then the guy that's opening the store comes out and he says, apparently there's a little bit of trouble with our licensing and we're not gonna be able to open right at 11. Bear with me, I'll keep you guys informed if it's gonna be like a lot longer than after 11 o'clock. Like I live in such a small town, you guys. To have a business license in this town, you fill out a form, it's $25, I think you get a approved within the it's not hard so I'm like what licensing did they or did someone tip them off about the counterfeits I would have a hard time believing that the officers in this town would do anything about counterfeit merchandise but it's so weird anyway it wasn't it wasn't very long after 11 o'clock and they opened the doors right up I'll show you guys what I got first for the thrift store haul I didn't get a ton of stuff at the thrift store I got two of these but I think it's a personal pickup 
But whenever I looked these up, I mean, it looked like people were selling them for like $100. Let me show you the marking that's on the bottom. These um, were $8 a piece. I got two of them. They just say made in China um, and 090. I'm not really sure what that means. They look to me like they could possibly be hand painted. What do you think? I thought they were gorgeous, especially with the birds here. Um, two of them. <coughs> You could call it an urn. I believe they're called ginger jars. And I just think that they're super, super gorgeous. I wish that they were um, bigger. This is a little Ziggy picture. Was there something in there? Um, it looks like he's unzipping the cartoon to reveal this beautiful sunset. And it says, wishing you beautiful tomorrows. This was only 50 cents. I have no idea the value on this. Looks like 1982, made in the USA. I think this is awesome. I love it. I found two really great wallets. This one is Coach and it's like the cool metallic purple. One thing I feel like when people find these, they think, oh my gosh, I struck gold. You did not strike gold with a little Coach zip around wallet. I mean, I may get 20 bucks out of this thing, but I only paid let's see i think this one was six let me not lie to you yes six dollars i'm gonna have to get that writing off of it it's in otherwise literally flawless condition and then you know the thrift store was like hey let's take a sharpie to this that would be really epic but i could start this thing relatively low over on a designer purse whatnot just to offer i could even do like a giveaway with it or something because it only cost me six bucks um so yeah i'm excited about this one but i'm even more excited to be honest with you about this this is what you call a tapestry for purses, for doctor's bags, luggage, but I've never seen a tapestry wallet. This thing is so cool. It looks like it could possibly be spruced up a little bit. You'll see it was only $3. Again, I'm gonna have to get that off of here and it is in pristine condition. So thanks a lot thrift store for writing in that. And look, there's, let me show you the photos of my kids back before Facebook, before Instagram. This is how you would bug people showing them photos of your kids. Now you guys just get to see my kids all over the gram. Um, yeah, this is an epic little wallet. More, more the outside than the inside, but the inside has lots of features. So I know that this one will sell. I'm thinking I should be able to get at least $40 out of this. I'll check comps, but I am not going to be surprised um, if this is worth at least 40 bucks. I know the tapestry bags are, and I've never seen a wallet. So the items I got for resale from the thrift store would be six seven eight nine dollars and fifty cents i'm sorry guys i did not spend ten dollars on the resale um but i feel like i did pretty decent i only have three things to list so that's really great and then here's the bag of stuff that i got from the bin store for ten dollars um i did find one other thing and it was an item that was on the shelf but it said bin so i was like since it says bin is it included and he said no i'm going to charge you an extra dollar for this so we won't even consider this a part of the $10 haul. This is, um, it's a shock, just one single shock and it was only a dollar. So I feel like I should be able to more than make my money back off of this. Um, I don't know. Does it say exactly what vehicle it's for or anything? Gabriel max control monotube shock absorber. I don't know, but do you think I did pretty well for a dollar picking that up? The things I got in here are really interesting and basically here's what happened. So suppose I picked up just this one item and I just wanted this. It's going to be $10. Everything else in the bag, free included. And I think most people there did not understand the assignment. Like they were literally just looking through, well, what do I want? Well, if it's got value, just grab it. You could probably sell it. Did I go in there looking for these napkins? Absolutely not. We use napkins every once in a while. I could use these at a birthday party, at a picnic, anywhere where I don't want to go take cloth napkins. I could use these. Why would I not include it in my bag? I'm honestly not even sure the best way to go about like showing you guys everything that's in this bag. Like I know I got a million of these, so maybe I should just sort the bag. I'm sure there's a much more entertaining way than just setting you guys up and watching me go through this entire bag. I mean, I would be surprised if there's not at least a hundred items in this bag. So I'll do like a rough sort, show you guys every single thing that I got and then we'll count it. We'll figure out dividing $10 by how many items, how much did I spend per item? I just laid everything out and I think I did better than I originally thought. <laughs> like, I mean, it was just kind of madness in there while you were shoving stuff in the bag. And like I said earlier, I understood the assignment that you buy one item, everything else is free, essentially. Guys, there is so many cool items in here. Let me count it real quick. Okay, wow. There's 150 items here. So the math works out to about seven cents an item. 
let me show you what I picked up for seven cents each. Your guess is as good as mine on some of these um, electronic items. It says headset stand and it's an RGB, so I'm guessing it lights up and you dock maybe your gaming headset on this. Okay, I think there's like an RGB, like a stick, a tower that plugs in there and then the headset sits on top of that. So I don't have the tower. Hmm, I wonder if someone might be looking for just the base. I accidentally ended up with more than one bottle of these. Why I say accidentally is because they're like prenatal uh, vitamins, which I thought, oh yeah, those will probably sell, which isn't the smartest idea because HBA can be another thing to get your store shut down. But then I looked at the bottom and saw that they, <laughs> wow, they expired two days ago now. Um, this is not something that, you know, you can't sell anything expired. So I started taking these out of my bag, but somehow I wound up bringing two of them home anyway. So um, these are probably just go straight in the trash I think expired supplements you know take those at your own risk but probably not while you're pregnant I would never want to give these to somebody I'll probably just dump these I'm not entirely sure what these are for but the colors leads me to believe maybe it has something to do with electrical I'll ask Drew they're not really styluses I don't know what they are this is a Vivitar um, outlet that also has like it's your charging block also oh wait this is totally European um wait what okay it's an outlet converter yeah i'll probably sell that i think most of this stuff is going to be for sale on whatnot and a lot of it um i'm just going to start things at a dollar this is a dvd let's see what the dvd is this definitely looks like it was returned i guess it sounds like the dvd is loose in there too let's see what it is yikes this thing is busted it looks like it got crushed it's rogers and hammerstein's state fair in technicolor um Ooh, she's pretty scratched i don't know if i'm gonna be able to sell this one or not yeah that thing got shattered undoubtedly in the post office i'm sure or it could have happened in this huge bin of things this is for me personal pickup if you've never read or studied hal elrod's the miracle morning it's a really interesting book and i was super thrilled to see this in there i didn't see it the other days at all so that one's a personal pickup for me i got these three little um i guess you could use them as sketch pads or journals they were just laying they look like instruction books laying in the bottom of those bins but I looked at them and I was like oh that's blank paper there's no need for that to go in the garbage I got a fundamentals of software architecture absolutely no idea if this thing has any value to it um, it looks like it retailed for $70 if you want to resell something like that um, show up at my whatnot this is called the angels here by Robin Hinchcliffe Okay, it looks like it's a book about Los Angeles, written in 1982. I'm not, probably not gonna read this, but it will definitely be available in my whatnot. If you're in the LA area, it might be something interesting for you. I got a pack of cards here with advice from the sun about uh, staying bright. I don't know if all these cards are the same. Let's take a peek. Okay, this one's advice from the sun, but this one's advice from a llama. Pack life with fun, have a gentle spirit. This one is advice from a honeybee. These are so cute, advice from a penguin dive into live advice from a starfish from a squirrel <laughs> how fun are these i think everything you see here simba is uh artwork all right these look to be little canvases you know i'm about to rip these open okay they are not framed but definitely frameable challenge should be embraced success stems from hard work and a good attitude never ever give up these are great oh my gosh i love these little cheering attitudes mistakes are great ways to learn setbacks are essential to growth the key to mastery is effort. These are awesome. And guys, they are painted or printed on canvas. Really cool. Okay, I saw this one said Mike Trout posters. So, oh, these are great. They're like a coated paper. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one these are so cool I think these will do fantastic on whatnot they're really good size I guess like legal paper probably size for 11 by 14 I would say there's a little bit of bend there but they're great posters I might sell these as a lot over at my whatnot if you guys have never checked me out on whatnot I'm Rachel Strickland over there and um, I'll announce at the end of this video when this auction is gonna start and all of these items will be available for starting at a dollar and then uh, you guys can show up and bid on any of it that you want you might get something for a buck okay this one says cowboy bebop poster spic ration 12 by 18 no frame should we see what this thing is okay i'm kind of still confused about exactly what it is some kind of anime it's on canvas it's pretty cool 
Okay, at a certain point I was just grabbing these when I saw them because I knew they were posters. This one says inked and screened blonde. I'm not sure if this one's gonna be safe or not. I'll check it out. If it's not too bad, I'll show you guys what it is. Oh, it's totally not a blonde. It's the album cover by Frank Ocean. Okay, any Frank Ocean fans? There we are. And it's got the songs uh, on the bottom here. Cool little poster. This one is a very cool Iron Man poster. It's printed on like this brown cardboard like. Um, it is so cool though, guys. Very like pop art style. These are neat. It looks like all six of these are superhero ones. And guys, there's still so many posters here. This one says it's a reputation artist cover. And then these say Evermore. I'm not sure either of those bands or groups, but these are posters for them. Um, I will be showcasing those and showing them off on my whatnot. And then this one says vintage anime Laputa Castle. So that's pretty cool. This one is the same thing. And there's one more here. I'm not sure what this is. I'm just interested enough to open it up. Let's open this last poster and then we'll get on with everything else that's in this pile. Would you look at that? Uh, I hope Dello doesn't want this one. He very well may, but that's a really cool poster. Look at the artwork. I also got this book. I saw this on $9 day and almost bought it. It's Life at Home in the 21st Century. Guys, I found two copies of it. Basically, all of these homes let the photographer in and I've heard about this book on the internet. So like, they're gonna take a picture of these bathrooms across America and just like, I don't know. I just think it's so interesting seeing like, how do people's master suites differ? How do like the play area for kids differ? I don't know. I just think this could be like an interesting social experiment type of uh, book. I got two copies of that. Oh, this is a mystery. I have no idea what's in this. I'm gonna open it up now um, with you guys. It, what does that even say? There, that doesn't say anything to me. It says my log gloss carbon fiber pattern. So what is in here? Dear customers, please confirm your car model before installation. Oh, only suitable for model Y. So it's something for a Tesla? User manual. What is this thing? Clean the surface where you want to stick. So it's something, a carbon fiber sticker to cover something. Is this the Tesla logo? Maybe it's for the steering wheel? I'm gonna open it up. Oh good, it's in like a zip top bag so I can open it. Guys, it is. It's little carbon fiber stickers for different locations around the Tesla, what did we say, Model Y? That is so cool. I love it. And this was just sitting there. Nobody had any idea what it was. I just threw it in, in my bag. Why not, right? I got a Wii controller, but it's not, I don't think it's Wii brand or like Nintendo branded. Um, but I felt like that was maybe worth picking up. Surely someone needs an extra one of those. This, okay, I kept seeing these without the battery. There were so many of these, you guys. And finally I'd seen enough of them. I was like, I'm gonna grab these. Even without the battery, I bet they're worth something. And I only grabbed two and then someone else started grabbing some of them. Later I found this and I thought it was for power tool, like battery charging perhaps. I get it home and I was like, look at what's in the bag here, Drew. I, this was like sitting on top, you guys saw. And he said, oh, that's for walkie talkies. And I was like, dang, I should have got every single one that was there. I only got these two. Maybe someone needs some replacements but still for seven cents an item like 21 cents for this entire set I can surely get more than that out of it right <laughs> this is like some type of a light that hangs um, I guess that's the button to power it on and then it has these little fiber optic dangles I thought this was kind of cool and I might hang this up uh, show you guys what it looks like on I don't know what type of batteries uh, oh it changes colors too. This is so cool. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try this out and see if this end up being a personal pickup or I'll offer this to you guys at whatnot. Let me try it out later. These are cool and craft supplies always sells really well over on whatnot. They're just little glittery angel wings and there's 50 of them in there. This says Trav Sim, okay? <laughs> it just looks like a card that fell out of something. When you're at these bin stores, look at the little bitty things because this is a SIM card. It's a prepaid SIM card, 30 days. So does this have value online? I'm gonna have to look this up, see if this is something that can be sold, but there's a prepaid SIM card in there. This has never been opened, so I guess. I mean, how, how long is it? It prepaid for or is this kind of like straight talk and it's the sim for a prepaid service let's look this up real quick and see what the value is I'm seeing a lot of different
different stuff here, anywhere from $10, $20. Um, some of them were going up higher than that, but it looks like 30 day travel talk and text plan possibly. They go by how many gigabytes it is. I don't know. I still don't know what is this thing worth. Should I list this or should I just bring it to whatnot, let one of you guys bid on it and maybe make some money off of it? Okay, I started to go back and get all of the little electronic pieces that nobody wanted because they looked like they were either broken or you couldn't tell what they were. I decided I was gonna take every single one of these suckers home. This thing I think is some type of a junction box and this could even be possibly useful for Drew. If not, you know it's coming straight to whatnot. I did find this little adapter. It just says power supply and everyone always needs a little power supply, right? So I threw that in the bag. I remember breaking my SIM card tray and having to spend, it was like 10 or $12 for one of these. These, again, tiny little pieces in the bottom of the bin just look like garbage. And then I turned them over, I was like, those are SIM card trays. And it comes with a little tool to pop the SIM card out. So um, these could be a really fast listing over on eBay. You list one time and you just make a quantity of two. So if you can find stuff like that at the bins, that could definitely make your life easier. There is no way I could be more lost about what exactly this item is. Um, um, is it a filter? Is it for a fish tank? No clue. These look to be like wiring harnesses for a bulb assembly. Yeah, it says socket. So again, not sure exactly what for. This, what is this? Intelligrated made by WWL in run stop. What is this guys? This looks like electrical too. And again, it was just something that was laying in there. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm just going to type in um, what's at the top of this and see if I can figure out what the heck this thing is. There's no way. There's actually no way. It's a conveyor control card. Guys, is this for real? 400, 215. That's not the same thing. $1,300, 275. This is Intelligrated CS110, and that's the same number on mine. I gotta see sold prices on these. Okay, so there are five listed. Like, I'm giddy right now, you guys. There, oh my gosh. There are five listed. Let's hope these things sell. There are five sold. Are you kidding? <gasps> guys, look at the sold comps. I paid seven cents for this. 375, 449, 140, 118, 199. Get straight out of here. I have another item in this lot that looks just like this and now I have to know now I have to know what is this one worth because it's basically like the same thing I'm gonna type in Honeywell and then this number here oh my gosh I just got excited about Ben's stores again okay I can't find exactly this one but it's got to be basically the same type of thing you guys if I got a hundred dollars a piece out of them I'd be thrilled to death but looking like maybe I'll be able to get a little more than that I'm ecstatic these literally were laying there and tossed around like trash I can't believe this all right we're to two more items that I'm not really sure what's in these boxes <laughs> so it's like um it's like a hope scope lost mail unboxing right now you guys let's see what is in here i'm opening with one hand while i hold the camera with the other so usually i'm a little bit more coordinated than this what in the world what i think this is more of those things that i said i have no idea what this is what is this oh it's for a cpap and there's more of those filters that was a cpap filter oh Definitely something you'd want to be really careful listing because CPAP stuff is kind of dangerous to sell over on eBay. Anything that you would need a prescription for, do not list it. This says with small paint burr for fences. That's what it says. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. It's just this one paintbrush. That was what was in that box. I'll probably keep this because you guys know how much I love to paint, but that's kind of weird. All right, I got two knockoff items. These will not be available, period. End of story. This is the ring that, um, like maybe it's just styled like Louis Vuitton. Let's open it up and see if there's actually an L and a V in there anywhere. I can tell you that they were definitely copying the pattern of Louis Vuitton. Okay, yeah, definitely copying that Louis Vuitton pattern. Wait a minute, there's something inside here. Is this real? Louis Vuitton. Yeah, they definitely knocked it off, you guys. When I saw that, 
on the flowers on the outside. I was like, they're trying to be Louis Vuitton, but let me see if I can get the camera to focus for you. Inside there, they've actually inscribed Louis Vuitton Paris. What a rip off to Benz. I want my money back. This is not real Louis Vuitton. It is cute though. Don't worry, not keeping this. The other item that I got were the fake Gucci pantyhose. I'll be doing a video where I show you guys about these and how they're not worth, well, I don't know if the real Gucci ones are technically worth the almost $400 they have for them, but I can tell you these ones certainly aren't. I got a set of white and a set of black. In my last video where I showed these, uh, somebody commented and said that they weren't truly a knockoff. They were just like, they looked like it. This double G pattern is absolutely a copyright of Gucci. So so yeah, they're fake, they're knockoffs, they are counterfeit, and so is the ring. I better get this off because if I tested this thing for lead, who's gonna bet that it's probably off the radar? Why do I, why am I wearing this? Oh my gosh, the wording on the back of the ring. Gold love rings for women girls couple. All right, I got another really cool electronic piece that I have no idea what it is. Is this gonna be worth a lot of money too? Let's get it open so I can show you guys what it is. I'm gonna look it up. We're gonna make thousands of dollars off this $10 bag. All right, this says DB25 terminal breakout board. I don't think there's actually any electrical components here. It looks like it's just for wires to terminate to. Let's look it up. All right, they are worth $11. Still, this one piece paid for the entire bag. I found a set of over-the-ear earbuds here. I might want to make sure that they're not some fantastical brand. I think they're just some random generic earbuds though. They are nice and here's the thing that's most interesting. They have two different jacks. I thought that was kind of interesting. So there's only one little ear. Oh, it's just one piece. Wait. Oh guys, I think it's a microphone. It's totally like a mic, I think. There's a clip for your shirt. Oh, I think I need to look this up. Ah, oh, yeah guys, it's a mic. I don't see a brand on it anywhere though. Well, I mean, I guess technically it's more than a mic because it does have an ear piece so it's like a headset here's another piece I have no idea what it is it says Brady uh, black on white vinyl it looks like a cartridge uh, Brady worldwide it looks branded some type of an ink cartridge maybe labels come on surely not this thing is worth like this one $60 there's 588 listed okay hang on first thing we're gonna filter by sold 588 listed 207 sold and they are selling for okay not dollars this one $48 these ones are compatible but not licensed that's important to know here's a new one uh, there's one for 24 this one sold for $38 Another item that people were looking right by because nobody knew what it was. Look at this stuff in the bin store. Not the cheap junk, but this stuff that no one knows what it is. This is the coolest mystery box I've ever opened. I found this straight flanged outlet. Look at him. He's like, ah! Rachel found so many cool things. <laughs> it's an outlet, you guys. Um, okay, I thought that this was some type of a squeegee for like a screen, if you were cleaning your screen. And then when I got home, I realized that it's open. It's almost like a little Ziploc, like a top for a bag or something. There were a bunch of these in there and I guess I should have picked them all up. I'm still not entirely sure exactly what this is. If anyone knows, then let me know. I am a die-hard note holdout. Like this, this little stylus, I absolutely love a note stylus. And I think that that's what's in this bag. I think there are two, and I think they're in rose gold like that. Let's see what this says. Two pack gold note 20 ultra replacement stylus. Yes, guys, this is the note 20. Do I keep these? They're the same color and everything, but it, I mean, I've never lost mine, knock on wood, um, and they do sell for quite a lot. I don't know if I keep these or not. It looks like they sell for about $10 a piece, so hopefully right after I sell it, I don't lose mine. Another item that probably looked like it just fell out of another item, this is um, the OEM black rear camera replacement for like an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and it comes with um, an X-Acto knife, like all the tools needed. I got two of these kits so like that had some nice value this is um the john cena of phone cases it is for an iphone 13 i got two of these screen protectors uh k-self smartphone case utection 
for iPhone 13, two of those cases. Here's another phone case, and I'm not sure what phone this one is for. Here's tempered glass um, screen protector for like a small tablet. This sturdy case, I mean, I'm telling you, this is a sturdy case. It's army green, and it's for an iPhone 14 Max. Guys, look how many of these I got. Holy cow, it's tempered glass, and I think it's kind of just a universal thing. Um, oh, wait, it says it's for Samsung Galaxy A12, Galaxy AO2S. So I got so many of those. Here are the options. Do I take these to eBay and list a multiple quantity, or do I just take them all to whatnot and sell them off as one or two lots to the highest bidder and then you guys can resell them these interestingly enough this is the exact one that i used um i feel like the same brand and everything that i use on my phone i got three of those jagged premium phone case oh i got four of those and i just remembered one of these fill out in the car so there was actually 151 items here today guys this is a glass uh screen protector and then this one is a camera lens protector that's pretty interesting i don't know if it is for a phone or like for for an actual camera. Oh, it says it's for the iPhone uh, 13 Pro. That's neat. What is this thing? It looks like it's like a gas tank or something, maybe? I'm not sure. It's some type of a, what is this? <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think that is? Literally, I don't know, you guys. It's very flat, a little reservoir. It is plastic on one side, metal on the other, inlet and outlet, but what's it for? Is this a gas tank to something? These tablet cases, they're foam. They come with their own screen protector and side there they stand up and this actually fit Israel's phone oh wait I gave him one I forgot so technically there were 152 items my cost per item is going down 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 it fits an iPad mini four or five but it fit his tablet and his is just like a generic tablet I got these blue light glasses even though when I felt I could see there was a lens in this one and there's not in this one but the lens is in there let's see if we can pop it back in and if it's scratched up too badly Yay, I got the lens back in. They really don't look like they're scratched. They are so lightweight. What do you guys think? Did I just turn into Clark Kent? What's Wonder Woman's alter ego? I got really excited when I found this stuff. It's all automotive emblems. So these are like, I guess they're hubcap covers for Toyota. This is, these are coasters and they're BMW. There's two of them in there. These are replacement BMW emblems and like this must be for the trunk because this one is fairly large and this one is smaller. These are Mercedes. Wait, it's just one Mercedes. Does that open? This says it's a center cab also and it's Mercedes. And then this is a trunk lid emblem for an LX something. An LX, oh, it just says LX. <laughs> okay, and then this one, what does this say you guys? Oh, I'm um, looking down in there. I think this one is Audi. So all of those are so cool, you guys. This is also for a Mercedes. You can see a little Mercedes emblem in there. And it's like a key fob cover. So it comes with this leather cover and then this entire little piece that you could press the keys. And it's like a protective thing um, for your Mercedes key fob. These are valve stem caps and they say Dodge. So I thought those were pretty cool. I found this and it's Golden Sun, I guess for a DS Lite. I'm not really sure. When I saw this, I grabbed it because it's a game and why would I not but then later in a totally separate bin I found the package for it it says on the package here golden sun the lost age reproduction it says reproduction and then it says new so I'm like wait a minute is golden sun like a hard to find game and this is a reproduction of it like I'm definitely very very confused by this Okay, I said DS Lite because that's what the sticker said, but this says it's Game Boy Advance, and on the back it does say Nintendo. I don't know. I'll ask some gaming friends that I know if this is real or not, if this is like a reproduction, exactly what is going on and how to tell. I think one of the ways to tell is whether or not it has one screw or two also. I don't know. Am I wrong about that? I would love to hear y'all's input in the comment section about this. Let's just see how much Golden Sun on Game Boy Advance is selling for. 
Oh my, $50, $42. Looks like there's 276 listed. And let's go ahead and see how many have actually sold. 582, are you kidding? Okay, the game is clearly hard to find, but again, how do I know? Like this one was bid up to $46. I feel like it looks just like mine, but as the authentication queen, I can tell you looks can be quite deceiving and you need to ensure that you know that you have have what you're saying that you have so I will not be listing this or selling it until I've consulted with some friends of mine who sell video games and they can help me tell whether or not this thing is real but if it's worth about 40 bucks I would say that's a major score on a fill a bag day at the bins I have absolutely no idea what this thing is either. It says two pack for Samsung Galaxy Z Fold a two pack of what maybe it's screen protectors I'm gonna open it Oh uh, yeah, it comes with wipes and everything. I think it's a two pack of screen protectors for the Samsung Fold. What an interesting phone. More electronics that I wasn't sure what they are. I'll be honest with you guys. I thought when I picked this up that this was a knife sharpener. Doesn't it look like a knife sharpener? And now I get it home and I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute. It's electronic. I think it's a credit card reader. <laughs> I don't think it's a knife sharpener. It's a good thing I didn't slide a knife in there. Let's see what it's worth. I'm just gonna type in MSRX6 to see its value. There's no way. There's actually no way. You have to be kidding me. This didn't happen again that I'm gonna randomly find something worth over $100 in this $10 bag. Guys, are you for real? There are 66 listed. <laughs> Holy cow. 98 sold every one of them for over a hundred dollars 174 oh my gosh Dello he's my 16 year old son went to the bin store without me this past weekend and he won a free bag for a fill a bag day and when he sees the stuff that I got and its value like I can tell you I'm going to be looking at going through the bins completely different guys a hundred hundred and fifty dollars for that I thought it was a knife sharpener <laughs> Moving on, let's see what else. Oh, I saw this and I was like, oh, cute, a little SD card. You can't go wrong with an SD card. But just now I moved it back and I see, like it says something about maps in there and there's a Mazda emblem on there. I think this is the upgrade to a GPS. Yeah, it's definitely a 2002 map update for a Mazda 36CX. I don't know, let me see if this is worth anything. Wow, apparently like 30 or $40. This is a cute little locket piece that you can set either your own photo and then lay the glass piece over it. Or I was thinking you could press a flower in there. It details it as for a bridal bouquet, but you could definitely make any piece of jewelry, even a keychain out of something like this. I think it's beautiful and I couldn't leave it there. All right guys, a two pack. They're for an Acura TLT. SX MDX. Oh, they're relay switches and it looks like they're worth about $10. Probably one item I'm most excited about right here, you guys. They're seeds. What are they seeds for? The package just says 155 true non-GMO heirloom. What are they seeds for? Comment and let me know, do you guys think I should plant the seeds and see what we end up with? There's 150 of them. There's no way that they, something won't grow. I don't care how old these are. At least one of these 150 is gonna pop up. Oh, there's 155 plus, sorry. I'm thinking that I'm gonna do a little mini series of shorts here on YouTube and plant these and we're gonna see what kind of plant we end up with. Comment below, I vote yes, if you think that I should do that with these seeds. These are some frosting baker's tips. What is this? Yet another electronic piece that Rachel just decided to pick up and take a chance on. Should I open it up? We got, we gotta know what it is. Shut the front door. There's no way. Guys, I saw the brand name Tamiya and TLU01, so I typed that in. There's no way, come on. This. This is not worth $50 in that little bag. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this is like my best day ever at the bins. There are 46 listed and 39 sold. Almost 100% you guys, $50, $50. Uh, my mind is so blown right now. 
we've been looking for the wrong stuff at these bin stores go to the bottom pick up the stuff that looks like it fell out of another packet if I woke up with my head sewn to the carpet I would not be more surprised than I am right now moving on this is a refrigerator thermostat it does have all of the wires and the actual thermometer that hooks up to it all included this is a carbon fiber wrap it says it's for a Silverado, but my son is really into carbon fiber and I thought I might gift him this to customize some parts on his Mustang if he wants to. Um, so if it doesn't say Silverado anywhere on it, then he could use this on his Mustang. Honestly thought this was one of my best pickups. Little did I know. It's just a pack of napkins, you guys. Just, we can keep these in the car. Road trip worthy or something. Here is a little Apple Watch strap that says Hocus Pocus. It says it's all a bunch of Hocus Pocus and it has the witch's silhouettes there. This is a whole stack of earring cards. If you sell a lot of jewelry, might be something that you would be interested in picking up. It's gonna be for sale in my whatnot. It's a bookmark and I guess it's a quote from the TV show in his silhouette. I'm trying very hard not to connect with people right now. <laughs> so if you're a fan of the TV show, come pick this up at Whatnot. Literally only a few items left, guys. I got like four or five of these. I thought they looked really cool and vintagey. I'm sure they say happy Halloween, boo, things like that. It's kind of like a build your own um, kit here because it comes with the ribbon and it comes with the little pieces of paper to say happy Halloween. I got a ton of those. I got some body tape, fashion tape. I got two collapsible water bottles. Um, I think they're just for beverage. There's directions here about getting the smell out. These are water bottles, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure just collapsible water bottles. Good for running. What is this? Oh, it's a bathroom. I think it's like a towel rack in maybe a rubs, rubbed bronze or a black. K-E-S is the brand here. Sticking with the holiday vibes. Look at this little cat. It is so adorable and there's bells on it. That cat reminds me of a Christopher Radko ornament that I uh, sold recently. That thing is amazing. Look at this little kitty. I got two bottle brush Christmas trees. This really cool banner that I guess you could pop some lights in or something maybe. I just thought this was really, really pretty. Oh, and I got a dress. I may try this on for you guys. We'll see. I'm not even sure what size it is. A phone ring holder. And wait a minute. I had two of these. I grabbed one for myself. So what are we up to? 153 items that were in here. They're just these. Um, it, this one's black. And the one I got is black also. <laughs> You're not going to believe what this is. Um, it's a sander. An orbital sander. It does not have the battery. It looks like a controller. So when you go to sanding, you get to use the... <laughs> as the controls is that just for the gamer that also wants to get into auto body i'm not i'm not sure but that's kind of fun let's see if this thing is worth anything it was there every day that i went to the bins and i kept thinking about getting it but i was like i don't know if it's worth anything i'm gonna run comps right now whoa kind of another holy cow moment 173 dollars but mine doesn't come with any of that do you think i could get do you think I get $100 for the bear tool? Like $75 maybe for the bear tool? That is incredible. Okay, I see you, Polisher. I see you. Okay, I did say I'd try it on if I could get it on. It's a size medium and I am not. So if you are, it'd probably look better on you and you can show up at my whatnot and purchase this amazing dress. It looks like two pieces, but it's not. It's just like this cute cutaway and it's ruched up the side. And I mean, I won't lie, it's kind of giving. Should I auction this off on whatnot or wear it to flip on? I'm just kidding, it is too tight, but it is seriously so cute. Okay, I won't lie, I expected most of the electronic parts and pieces that I picked up to be just that, like parts and pieces. I had no idea I had so many items worth over $100 a piece. I am still absolutely shocked, you guys. I will be back to fill a bag again this coming Wednesday, and I'm gonna look for the same kind of stuff, like the random parts and pieces at the bottom of the bin. I'm shocked.